22nd June 2025, the US showed its military might by bombing Iranian nuclear sites. The US used the B-2 stealth bomb to drop big bunker buster bombs like the GBU-57. The whole bombing operation showed the importance of using bunker buster bombs to destroy enemy targets buried deep underground. As India and the whole world observed the US bombing tactics, it became obvious that this bombing mission was just too impractical for any country to adopt. First, the US used the B-2 stealth bomber, which cost a whopping 2 billion US dollars or rupees 17,000 crore per plane. India has no bombers and the costliest plane India has ever purchased is a French Rafale fighter jet, which is approximately 240 million US dollars or rupees 2,000 crore with weapons. Second, the US used the GBU-57, a gravity bomb which the US effortlessly dropped on nuclear sites, as Iran had minimum or no air defense. India's adversaries, China and Pakistan, have adequate air defense capabilities. So can India overcome these challenges to develop its strategies to take out enemy bunkers? I mean, if India was to develop a bunker buster bomb, what would it be like? And what is the scenario this bomb will be used? India has two big adversaries, Pakistan and China. Both these countries are nuclear armed. India has border issue with both these nations, resulting in escalations from time to time. Pakistan has stored most of its nukes under heavily fortified hills. The Kirana Hills in Sargodha, Punjab houses an underground storage and command complex. There are deeply tunnel storage complex in Balochistan and Barog foothills. China is another adversary with which India has a long border issue. China has built heavily fortified bunkers along the 3,500 km long border. China also has advanced radars to detect fighter jets along the Indochina border. So unlike Iran, both Pakistan and China have good air defense capabilities. Bunker buster bombs are bombs designed to carry heavy ordnance which will penetrate deep into earth and destroy command and storage centers. The GBU-57 recently used by the US is an example. The GBU-57 is a gravity bomb, meaning it's dropped from a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber from an altitude of 50,000 feet. Using GPS and radar antenna in the front, the bomb guides itself to the target. The bomb will reach a speed of 500 km per hour before hitting the ground. Using sheer kinetic energy, it punches through the rock and sand. The bomb's casing is made from high-density Eglin steel alloy, engineered to survive extreme stress of deep penetration before detonation. According to the BBC, the GBU-57 can penetrate 18 meters into concrete and 61 meters into earth. The bomb carries a large penetrator smart fuse which adjusts the moment of explosion. Despite being 13,600 kgs, the warhead weighs only 2,500 kgs and the rest is high-density steel. Unlike the US, India has no dedicated bunker buster bombs. To make matters worse, India does not operate any bomber planes. India has only multi-role fighter jets like the Sukhoi-30, Jaguars, etc. The biggest bomb ever carried and dropped by the Indian Air Force was the BrahMos missile. The BrahMos is a land-based missile weighing 3 tons. There is no plane in the Indian Air Force to carry and drop such a heavy missile. So the Indian Air Force modified the Sukhoi-30, fitting it with special parts to carry the BrahMos missile. The BrahMos was then air-launched to target enemy positions. This air-launch version was very successful. The BrahMos was widely used in Operation Sindhu, taking out 11 Pakistani air bases. So India has no suitable plane to carry the big bunga buster bomb like the GBU-57, which weighs 13.6 tons. It needs to come up with a different solution. As India has no bombers, India is planning to modify the existing ballistic missile Agni-5 to function as a bunker buster bomb. Agni-5 is originally an ICBM capable of carrying nuclear payload of 4,000 kilograms. 
It has a range of 8,000 kilometers. Agni-5 will be modified to be a new missile that will be non-nuclear but will carry a huge 7.5 to 8 ton warhead. Its range will be reduced from 8,000 km to 2,500 km to accommodate for the larger payload. This missile will be hypersonic, which means it will travel at a speed above Mark 5. The missile's body will be reinforced to absorb the impact of penetration. This missile will also feature a fuse with delayed detonation. The missile will travel at hypersonic speed, evading enemy radar and missile defense systems. The missile's guidance will be both inertial and satellite navigation. The missile will be launched towards a deeply buried bunker inside enemy area. Its accuracy will be crucial to its mission. It will hit the Earth exactly on target and will be able to penetrate 80 to 100 meters depth. On reaching the required depth, it will blow up the target. This missile will be more powerful than the GBU-57 because unlike the GBU-57, Agni-5 is not a gravity bomb but will have its own propulsion. As the missile is hypersonic, it will hit the Earth at a very high speed. The missile must be capable of absorbing the impact of penetration and must penetrate to a depth of 80 to 100 meters. Modifying an existing missile to be used as a bunker buster will provide a quick and cheaper solution to counter India's regional threats, as developing a new bomb will take years and would be expensive. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.